Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you four super easy room decor DIYs. But before we get onto the video, can you please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It really means a lot to me and give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new here, I do DIY videos, art videos, and craft videos and I upload a new video each week. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right on to the video. So the first DIY I'm going to show you how to make is this abstract kind of balloon sketch. And so the materials you're going to need is some paper. I'm just using this paper from my sketchbook and a sharpie. I have a double sided one but that does not matter and let's get on to the DIY. So we're just going to take our piece of paper and we're going to be taking our sharpie and I'm going to start by drawing a line from end to end just like a sort of squiggly line it doesn't matter it's not important so I'm just gonna freehand it and now I'm gonna go ahead and just randomly draw like little like on a number line little notches on the line okay so now that I've done that what you're going to do basically is you're going to go from notch to notch and you're just going to go around and go in a balloon and you can go the thing about this is you can do how much ever you want and it's really to whatever you want to do it can be whatever it can be thin thick long short so I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of this and then I'll show you what else to do So I have finished my first little abstract balloon thingy and if you want to give it a more abstract feeling then you can just go ahead and fill in this area a bit to make it a bit darker so it looks a bit cooler that way and again you can just play around with it do it however you want and so next what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna find another random spot and draw another random squiggly line and then I'm going to do the same thing, so I'm going to draw random notches. And I'm going to go ahead and do the balloon things on that also. So basically, I'm just going to, I finished the second line, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put some more lines and fill up the page to my liking. And yeah. So basically, this is the finished product, and this was a really easy room decor DIY. And now I can go ahead and just put pop it in a picture frame, put it on the wall, hang it up with a push pin, whatever. On to the next DIY. So this next DIY is also super simple, and I'm going to show you how to make it. So over here, I have an empty picture frame. As you can see, I've taken out the glass, and this DIY is also really, really simple. And so my picture frame originally came in like this blackish color, but I went ahead and painted it, but it's your choice. You can do whatever you want. So I've taken out the glass and let me just put that aside. And then I have this paper right here. It's this really cute paper that I found at Michael's, but you can just print out a picture from the internet or you can make your own picture. So what I'm gonna do is I have my picture frame and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my frame and yeah. So I have had to fold over the picture a bit and now I'm just tucking in the end pieces to make sure that it's there and then after I've finished that, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my scissor and I'm gonna cut this up. So as you can see, I've cut it. It doesn't have to be the cleanest cut. It just depends on how much you want it cut, but since this part is gonna be against the wall, I don't really care that much. And this is the finished product. It's so cute, really minimalistic, and it's really nice to hang up. So for the third DIY, we're going to be needing a canvas, a paintbrush, some masking tape, and some paint. I chose these four colors. You can use any color of your choice. It doesn't really matter. So let's get on to the DIY. So this is what the finished product is going to look like. This is just in different colors I did, but it's just kind of giving you an overview of what's going to look like. So to start, I'm going to take my canvas and my masking tape, and I'm going to go ahead and put the masking tape all around the corners of the canvas. 
So now that I've taped the corners up, I'm going to need my masking tape again. And we're just gonna go ahead and place it in abstract triangles. So for example, I would place it like here or here and just make random triangles. I'll show you what that looks like when it's finished. So this is what it looks like. I opted to go for a bit bigger shapes because that's how I want it to look, but you can use smaller masking tape, you can make smaller shapes, it's just, just personalize it to however you want. So next I'm going to go ahead and take my paints and I'm just going to randomly fill in this color. So I might like fill in these two yellow, maybe these two teal, and I try to make sure that none of the same colors are touching so like I don't want two yellows right next to each other so let me do that and I'll come back to you when it's done so I finished painting it this is the yellow so it's okay to get stuff on the tape because when you peel it away it shouldn't show so just let that dry so I was finished drying and now as you can see we're, we're just gonna peel off the tape ASMR tape peeling And there you go. As you can see, the end result is pretty cool. You can notice here that I didn't press the tape down hard enough, so the paint bled through a bit, but that's okay. I'll just cover it up with some white paint, but it looks pretty cool. And if you hang it up on the wall, no one would even know that you made it. And so it's a really cool, like geometric y vibe. So, on to the last DIY. So, this last DIY is a super cute boho wall hanging and what you're going to need is a wooden stick so i have this wooden stick right here and you're just going to need a bunch of yarn so let's get to it so i have my stick and what you're need going to need to do is drill a hole in it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my piece of yarn and i have it doubled up over here so i have folded in half and i'm going to go ahead and drape it over and then I'm gonna lift my stick up and basically this little hole right here, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tail through so that it form, and then pull it tight so you can see it forms a little knot on the wood. And I'm just gonna slide it to the left like that, however you want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way across and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I am finished and now we're just gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna tug and make the knots all uniform. And remember this piece from earlier, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop it in the second hole. And then I already tied the knot and there you have it. And you can just hang this on a wall. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you like these DIYs and you wanna see more, please hit that red subscribe button down below and give a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next week. Yay, you stayed. Comment down below with a heart to get a shout out in my video next week. Thanks for watching.